since the terrible day in 1968 when Martin Luther King was so brutally assassinated, we've had two classes develop within the African American community in pronounced ways, marked ways, things, gaps more dramatic than they ever have been. On the one hand, it's the best of times for a segment of the African American community. On the other hand, it's the worst of times. Um, I gave a lecture this morning in my class about the infant mortality rate. It's higher now than it was the day King was killed. But on the other hand, according to some measures, the black middle class has quadrupled. So in effect, the poverty line has stayed constant while this is the class line, which is an upward curve. Two distinct classes, one with what my mother used to call white money as opposed to colored money, and the other mired in poverty and both self-perpetuating. The most likely predictor of your child's socioeconomic condition is your socioeconomic condition. So just do the math. Um, it will take drastic intervention from the federal government and private enterprise on the one hand and within the African-American community through individual will on the other hand to transform this. Right now, I don't see either happening, <laughs> um, unfortunately. We need, within the community, a second civil rights movement about moral and individual responsibility. I don't see that on the horizon. So I'm very pessimistic about massive social change affecting poor people and or African Americans in our lifetime. I wish that I were wrong and I hope that I am wrong.